Christmas is coming. Why don't you surprise your friends, loved ones, or even your customers with this super duper cute <laughs> Christmas tree wax melt? Let's dive into it. This is the material that you're gonna need for this project. And we're starting with the um, paper cupcake uh, chase, I think is the right name. <laughs> so I got this from Big W. They're very, very cheap. So then you also need like a container you can use if you have like the cupcake tray. I got one of them, but I couldn't find this. So I am just using these uh, little cups from Aldi that I got from Aldi. Here I have my wax that I already colored for the, the bottom part of my Christmas tree. And I'll make it brown. You can make it like a this, like a little bit lighter brown. You can make any color you, you want. And now my bottom part like bottom part of my Christmas tree is ready and I'm using this um, uh, wood uh, it's it's the, the wick holder to take it out of my uh, plastic container and now I'm gonna do the, the Christmas tree on top the first step now is to open the um, like remove actually the, the this um, paper So here I um, melted my, well I already had the, the, the green wax and I melted my wax and uh, I used my hand mixer to, to fluff it up <laughs> and I'm putting it into my piping bag. And I'm trying on my spoon and I'm thinking that that's the right consistency but you're gonna see it that probably as you can see is not the right consistency because <laughs> that's this is my first attempt to make this Christmas tree and uh, Christmas tree cupcake like wax melt <laughs> And that's how it came out. I'm trying to fit, like I tried different things to try fixing it. So I'm putting more wax on top. And then I'm thinking, okay, now I'm gonna decorate with the, um, with the sugar sprinkles. So I'm putting my sugar sprinkle as the, you know, decoration of the, of the tree. That's what I'm doing right now. And guys, if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. And um, yeah, I hope you stick around because I make creative, uh, well, I make videos <laughs> about creative candles and I post videos every week. Then I'm adding the, the white uh, thingy. <laughs> There's still sugar sprinkles, but I decided oh, maybe a little bit of white will make it nicer. And that's how it came out. It was, well, not the best looking Christmas tree. So I had another idea. I was like, maybe if I take, take some soy wax and just crush it like I'm doing here into a little bag, and then I'll put it on top like um, the snow, it might look better. So I tried that too. <laughs> so I'm lining up the, my Christmas tree and putting some wax on top to make it look like snow. But yeah, spoiler alert, at the end it didn't work. I actually showed my husband and he told me, he's very honest, so he was like, it looks like a poopy. So I was like, no, I can't do that. So here, I don't know why the angle is different of this video, but yeah, you see me removing the, the top part of the Christmas tree. 
and uh, yeah that's when I decided not I have to make it again so I'm taking out all the, um, the sugar sprinkles and I'm just remelting my wax that's one thing that I love about candle making that you don't waste anything you can you know remelt and reuse it and that's what I'm doing here I already remelted let it solidify and now I'm um, using my hand mixer to make it more fluffy but the mistake that I made before basically I put it in the piping bag when it was too runny and uh, that's why it came out looking like a poopy <laughs> so you need to wait you need to wait for the right consistency which I had now I actually tried to be honest I haven't put the, the videos but I tried I think a couple of times before then because I have a baby so like I, I wasn't able to do it at the right time uh, but yeah this is I think the third time that I'm doing it <laughs> So um, with the hand mix and then put in the, my, my piping bag and this time the consistency of my wax is perfect so now I can uh, do my Christmas tree again and this I think this green is a little bit uh, light you could even go much darker but yeah that's what I had and yeah that's what I made but you can see, I think the Christmas tree looks so much better than the first time. And now I'm doing a little bit extra on the side. And yeah, fixing it. Now I see how it looks with my uh, sugar sprinkles. And of course you can go you know wild no, I'm joking but <laughs> with the fragrances uh, I didn't say what fragrances I use because uh, I don't even know this is a wax that I had already but you can you know use any Christmas fragrance that would be awesome and here I decided instead of putting my like the snow I put some glitter green glitter would be nice if you have actually white glitter maybe I didn't have it but yeah, um, I'm putting some yeah, green glitter and I decided the, the last touch, it would be the star on top and that's another, like it's a sugar sprinkle as well. Be careful not to, that's what I'm doing, but uh, thank God it didn't ruin the, the wax melt, but I'm, I broke a little bit of the wax. But I think it still looks really, really cute. And uh, yeah, I'm showing you here from different angles and yeah i think it's a perfect little project for christmas so guys thank you so much for watching let me know if you like it if you're gonna make it and i will see you in my next project ciao guys <laughs>